Turn 39, January 14th, 1942. Let's see what kind of damage Lodger can do to me. Auto flip the base. I'm learning the rest of the troops and or supplies there. Somebody hit a minefield. And sunk. Alright, and one of his subs missed. Nice. So whatever ship hit that mine sunk. Yep, he's jumping off, dumping off uh, troops here, as I expected. I'm curious to see what hit a mine. Hoping it wasn't me. Man, I shouldn't be going anywhere in this minefield unless I hit a friendly mine. Night phase over, going into the morning air phase. And airstrikes. And of course, my fighters don't fly. Of course. What's the point of setting up cap traps if your fighters never fly? Wow, he's doing good damage to me. And these bombers aren't even big. Not too bad. Bomb in the airfield, probably. Yep. <clears throat> I really wish my fighters would have flown. But gee, what a surprise. The airfield that they're at that is covered with storms, of course. When I try to bomb, I, I can't fly because the target's cloudy. And then when I try to defend, I can't fly because we're cloudy. The game hates me. I think it always has.
uh, PM phase. Looks like the weather is actually hindering his, his attacks this turn as well. We survived through the through the cap. We didn't hit nothing. We didn't hit nothing, though. No. Early war. Got to use whatever tools I, I have, right? Using those crappy Chinese bombers. Yeah. We made it over halfway home. Oh, this guy's probably dead. Oh, a dud. There it goes. I tell you, man, his subs don't ever miss. There it goes. Yep. I've lost more APs to subs. I guess just lucky that they are that they're not loaded with troops. And right, what bases are we losing this turn? It's got a full division here plus a brigade. And a few tanks. We got terrain on our side, so I'm hoping it helps. All right, one to one. He lost 300, we lost 440, not bad. I mean, we are losing more, but we are bleeding them. Bombardment attack here again. Wow, he rolled good. Another deliberate attack. Northwest. Nope, west. Okay, cool. That's the way we wanted to go anyways. All right, he lost 1,000. We lost 6,000. Wow. Oh, those units are about done then. Hey, look at that. We actually won a fight. We lost, we had f five squads disabled, and he has 25 disabled and one destroyed. Oh, here we go. Another loot pinata for him, huh? If he takes it, it's a lot of points there. Oh, well. Let's do it. Nope, he did not. One to two. 
He lost 3,800. We lost 1,900. Nice. We lost more destroyed, but less than half his disabled. But the force did go down. About three to one here. Yep, and we're gonna surrender, yep. All right, how many men did we lose? 1,700. There we go, oh, he brought some Marines down to deal with me. Another, I won't say great turn, but probably poor turn for us. We lost another AP. And really, we didn't really accomplish much this turn, but we have ships on the way. We have air groups on the way. We are slowly building up forces to matter. Once we're done, once, once the pro production is done, we'll save the game. We'll, go, we'll pause the video, save the game, get some intel, come back, and go into the after action report. Battleship, heavy cruiser, destroyer, destroyer, AS, AM, AM. Here comes the subs. Three Dutch subs, nice. And what's it, like 20 AKs? They're all coming either from overseas, like Europe or East Coast, showing up in Panama. Yep, still going. Alrighty. Another turn we get beat on, but that's just what the early war is. Alright, point wise, the the, the uh, Japan went up 256 points. We lost three. We lost one aircraft in air to air. Japan lost three to ops. Let's go ahead and take a look at those. They lost a Sally, a Pete, and an Alf to ops. And we lost the Chinese bomber. Air groups coming in. Next tomorrow, next day, we get some PB, PBYs at Batavia. And then the day after that, we get uh, the Indomitable with its air wings. And some P4, P400s and P40s in Brisbane and Eastern U.S. Okay. Then in four days, we get a bunch of aircraft in Eastern U.S. Some Banshees, some Mitchells, some P39s, some more Banshees, some A20s. There we go. Nice. Starting to get some actual aircraft now. Hopefully those come fully, fully formed because our production is crap. Sunk ships. We lost the S-40. This guy died pretty much at Manila, but we've been crippling his way home. He was, um, what, about the Marianas when he finally succumbed to the flooding and sunk. This AP was damaged limp from a sub before, limping west on the south side of Oz, and ran into another sub who hit it with a few shells and put another torpedo into it, sinking it. We did hear a... Um, ship hit a mine and then sink. I have a feeling what that is. I'm, I'm thinking that was a destroyer or a destroyer mine layer or a minesweeper at, at the Manila. Because I noticed on the end tracker that the uh, minefield at Manila is gone, which means he, was, he probably swept the hell of it. But we'll check, we'll check, the, we'll check the reports here in, in a moment. 
ship availability, 55 days to the Hornet. Let's see, we get a couple AKs and an AP tomorrow, the Indomitable and a sub, another AK, day three, we get more AKs. Holy cow, we just got like 40 AKs, AKs this, this turn. And then what do we got there? Seven days out, a pair of uh, battleships. And then 10 days out, some more subs. 12 days, a light cruiser. 16 days, another battleship. A destroyer. All right, we're starting to get ships. On the ground, nothing for two days. We're going to get a combat engineering battalion, which is going to be uh, restricted. And then our first CBs. Then the next day we get the rest of another Australian Brigade. And day five, we get the last piece of that division. All right. Let's see. Got a bunch of units uh, lost. There's more of them here. We need to make some decisions about these guys. That's uh, 200 and some points for... Uh, Base force. Why is he so... 100 naval support, 100 motorized support. It's just not that good, I don't think. Mostly, they're, you're paying for the motorized support and the naval support, I think. And this guy is a nice, big, fat uh, combat unit. Headquarters, another base force. See, this guy's like pretty much the same size base force, but not as expensive. I, I don't know. I don't know. But, all right, we're skipping industry and stuff. Let's go down to combat reporter. We want to take a look at the uh, intel area. And actually, I wonder, is it ops that'll, that'll show us? Or is it C? Maybe, maybe C. There we go. Manila. They cleared 51 mines. And a baton. There we go. They cleared 120 mines. And that's what it is. The AMC Kayomaru number 13 hit a mine. And that probably obliterated him. All right. Seen that report? Not a whole lot, just some radio and some lo locations. Chichijime, Tokyo, Toyohara, Takeo, Rabal. That's about useless. Alrighty. Well. Okay. Okay, nothing super useful, but a little bit of in intel there. Go ahead and pop out of here. Let's head up over into India, Burma. Not a whole lot going on. My fighters from Akiab did not fly. They're supposed to fly cover over these guys right here. They did not, so he was able to bomb them with impunity. Uh, kind of makes me mad, you know, try to do a cap trap, and of course they don't fly. But we'll check them again this turn. All right, everything just fleeing. It said we got a unit arriving here. First Burma division. Okay, he must have moved down from where he was airlifted in. All right, these guys have arrived and dumped off their. Are they done dropping? Yep, the 46 Indian Brigade is here. That'll be good. We should be dropping off a unit here as well. Yep, a bunch of units, I should say. wonder if any of them are offshore yet. No, they are not. Okay. But pretty much what we're doing, a little holding action in Burma, but not much. We are just doing a full retreat at this point, trying to save all these units as we can, especially all the base forces. Down into Malaya, nothing going on here. We got a couple units stuck out here dying. Being bombed to death in a Singapore. Let's see. We're at level two forts. We still have plenty of supplies. Not, we're down to 550 
defense. But they're all in good shape. The morale's low, but the fatigue and disruption is not bad at all. I'm thinking maybe we can hold off. We're at level two force. Maybe two more attacks. But other than that, I'm, I'm not sure. Nothing going on in Sumatra. Nothing going on in Java. Nothing new going on in Borneo. I mean, he did drop troops off right here, but we expected that. Luzon is all his. He dropped more uh, supplies than that at Cebu, took the base. He'll probably move over here next and take these guys, and then he'll probably come down into Min, into Min, Mindanao. Celibus, nothing's changed in this whole area here. So I don't know if he's if he's coming back and trying to fill in behind him or what what he what he's doing. We got a few ships down here, the north northwest section of Oz still fleeing. Bunch down here headed heading to Perth. Once you get to Perth, the ones that I can refuel and send off will all go off off map. Also have ships coming from the south here up up to Perth. KB's around here somewhere. Two turns ago, she was here. I doubt very much they went west. There is... Oh, excuse me. Big yawn. There's no reason for him to go west. There's nothing there. Two, four, six, eight. He could have been there last turn. Two, four, six, eight. And there ne this turn. So I got nothing really. Next turn we might get his body. We might lose this this uh, ship right here. I don't want to lose him. Why do I? Okay, no, I don't want to lose him. That's a that's a decent ship. But we got some guys fleeing out of Auckland just to make sure there's not too much there. We landed this big task force with a with a bunch of fuel. We're just trying to unload it here. We got ships. Another one with some fuel here. We got convoys heading east. Got the Saratoga here moving east. Lady Lex is also moving here. She's she's beat up some. The convoy coming down. Convoy's heading back to West Coast and Pearl. Resources coming into Pearl just to try to keep the factories running there. This is supplies and fuel heading to the South, you know, South Pacific. Another one of our ships have arrived from from a from a Manila. We'll get them in the repair yards. We got the last one right there. I believe we still have a sub on the way. Yep, but he's eighty three percent damage. So on flotation, so we're not sure if he'll make it or not. Um, we just got a ton of ships in Panama, three in, or so in Cristobal, and like 30 in, uh, ba in, uh, Balboa. A couple ships smattered along the west coast. And then let's go ahead and take a, take a gander up in China. Not much is going on in the north. He attacked again at Sietso Su. Sietso Su. C8, C at, C at so, C at so, maybe. All right, he got the unit moving up here to push me out of here. I should probably just retreat now. He attacked here and was repulsed. We got tons of men fleeing up to Cyan. I'm not sure why he hasn't attacked yet. I really don't know unless he's low on supplies because he's because he's cut off. He has caught up to my unit here, of course. Because he's moving on the road and I'm moving on a trail. Yeah. This guy is also moving, which means I'll let I'll come up behind him and cut him off again. He bombarded here just to say hi. And his troops are out of Hang Yang. Wow. One went here and one went here. No. Where'd that guy come from then? Oh, he moved out of the dot base. Both of them moved southwest here. 
That's one beat up division, pretty much, pretty much is the regiment at the moment, and then one full red, one full division. These guys are kind of cut off. I probably need to start getting them out of here. We will attack a Chusan. We'll take this base just, just because we can. We got pushed out of the hex here. All right. Oh, hey, we got pushed out and got closer, and we pulled in a bunch of supplies. So that's good. We are disorganized, but we can we can deal with that. We will keep moving west. Let's see, this guy is almost nope, nope, just started. He'll go back to Lu to Lu Chao. All right. Overall, it's not great, but could be much much worse. And it will be probably once you take Cyan that comes up here. We'll block off all the northern oil, which will make it hard for China to produce any supplies. But we'll see what happens. If you enjoyed watching the turn unfold, please go ahead and click on the like button. If you're following this campaign or am I gaming against Helsin and you have not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. Every little click helps. And until the next turn, you guys all have a great day and I'll see you later.